welcome back everyone and today once again we are going to make this really neat effects so let's get started without any of the bullshit talk as you can see i have this fan in my scene first thing that we have to do is make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d and right click to reset to its original position now let's just rename them so this will be reveal and the second one will be wireframe so let's start with the wireframe one so let's divide our panel into a geo node editor now to get started i'll click on this new and focus on the geo nodes right here so first of all what we are going to do is convert the mesh to volume for the values i will set to 300 and density i can keep it to one right now nothing is happening which is very sussy because we'll have to hide reveal one so that we can see our current fan as you can see and set the density to 100 you can take it higher if you would like next we'll distribute points on volume and use this like this we have to change this to the grid the result is very bad so let's change this value to 0 0.03 and we get this after this we can use instance on points then we'll add cubes and connect the cube right here the best thing about using the cube here is if we just copy this value right here and paste it right here and then paste it on all the others by left click holding dragging down and let it go as you can see they fit perfectly so whatever value you put right here you may make sure to put it right here as well now that we got this minecraft pixel type thingy all right before we go ahead and use this to make some edge paths all around the object what we need to do is make them realize themselves so all the cubes realize themselves as a single entity and then i will use a merge by distance and set it to 0 0.002 that should be good enough for now now after that i will use edge paths to curve this will help converting all the edges to a curve i have added a sphere into my scene so that it will help me with the effect so the effect will start at the center and goes outward so with that let's just bring in the sphere into the scene by dragging it from the outliner make sure to set it to relative and we need to find the distance between so I'll drag out the location type in distance using the position we will find the distance between the sphere and the mesh on our geometry okay now if we connect it to the end vertex we might not see anything happening right now so i'll use a math node to just change around the values to see if something's happening as you can see it is working let's convert this curve to mesh so use a curve to mesh node tap it right here use circle curve circle as a curve profile connected before we connect it i'll set the resolution to very low like 4 and then radius to 0 0.002 and then let's connect it to the curve profile i think it's still a little bit big i can set it to 0 0.001 that will look better so right now as you can see the curves look something like this but you can change around with the result by changing this merge value right here so if i set it to 0.001 i'll get a different kind of result uh, this kind of result which is way better than before now that we have gotten this kind of result want to animate it so let's start by going to the zeroth frame i'll press i right here on this value and i'll go back to zero like that and click insert i again to insert a keyframe make sure i selected this and again select object to see the keyframe then go to the 128th frame doesn't matter it can be any frame depends upon you now change the value and make it regrow up to like that and again i press i to insert a keyframe going outwards and looking really amazing but it's only going and growing and you want it to fade away as well for that what we can simply do is use a trim curve node and here you can play with the start value and as you can see it will fade away somewhere around the 60th frame what i will do is press i on the start value and go to the end frame which is 120 as you might remember and change this value to 1 which will make it completely disappear and our final results should be something like this now as you can see there's an issue at the end it is not completely disappeared so let's increase the value a bit more to make it disappear now that is the part where we have created the mesh or the wireframe effects or the 3d print type effects whatever you would like to call it 
next if you want to apply some material on it you can set a material on it for the material let's go to the material tab and i will just create a new one and use an emission for this and also set the same material right here 002 in the render viewport should look something like this now that we have this make the original mesh appear as well that's why we created a duplicate for that let's go back and hide the original thing and reveal the this thing now we have to create a new geo node for this one now here what we simply have to do is repeat the same formula as we did for the fireframe so we'll have to just copy this and paste them here you can use the same thing just right here in but there will be one issue we have to keyframe again you can do is store named attribute we will store this data yeah, so that we can use this inside the shader so let's just store this value right here and to visualize what is actually happening we'll press ctrl shift left click on this and ctrl shift left click on that and we can see this data happening so i'll just press i around 20th frame press i then go to the 120th frame we can don't worry we can adjust it later and just increase the decrease the value so it transitions out and press i again now we can store this i will name this as gg good gradient so to use the gradient we'll set a material right here and for the material we'll use the original material on our fan so the fan material is this one i'll just copy this and paste this here and use the same material so that we can apply the gradient if we select the material we can head to the shader editor and right here what we have to do is play with this alpha so to bring in our gradient what i will do is use a attribute node and here i will have to just type gg or what you can do is just copy this value and paste it here now if we connect this factor to the alpha we'll see this kind of effect so let's use a color ramp to see the result we'll have to sharpen the result kind of like this after that we can duplicate this again and connect this to the emission and increase the emission to 5 maybe this one we will have to flip also because the reveal is in the opposite direction so basically something like this now to match it with the original thing what we can do is enable both the thing together and now we'll just have to match it so selecting this node right here which we keyframe we can adjust around the timing so just try playing around with the values and then you will get the final result just as i did by adjusting the keyframes and like this you will get it if you really love this tutorial and really love this effects i think this was just a piece of cake for anyone if you just copy it the right way there were these just few nodes right here and then few nodes right here but anyways i enjoyed making this and i hope you would too and you make some great stuff out of it experiment around make something better maybe than more than me who knows but yeah anyways do make sure to sub and like this video if this really held out so see you in the next one. Ta-da!